Hey guys, welcome back to the next episode. Today is a very special episode. Today we are going to be starting our colony. And in preparation for that colony, I need to light up the area because these colonists, they're, they're defenseless and the mobs do go after them. I believe even the creepers go after them too. So, uh, yeah, dangerous stuff for them and I don't want them just to die immediately. So, oh no, I'm out here on my trusty steed and we are just lighting up the area. So, okay, we are starting our mine colony. So, what you're going to need to start with is this little supply ship here. Or you could also get a supply camp. So, yeah, right here's the supply ship. And right here's a supply camp. So, obviously the ship goes on water and the camp goes on land. So, we're going to go with the ship. Um, You could find these in, like, loot chests and stuff. Or you can make it using boats. The supply camp you can make out of chests. They're, they're super easy to make. So, uh, there's a recipe for that. Any boat will do. And the recipe for the camp is just chests. This is like your free mine colony starter kit sort of a thing. And um, now you just need one thing that you need to make. And let me see. Do I have a crafting table here? I'm going to make my little scepter. So it just takes two sticks and a cobblestone. And then, oh, build tool. That's what it's called. So this thing's going to be key for all your city planning. And then our supply ship. I'm going to go ahead and place this down. And then it gives me this little GUI here so we can plan out where things go. Um, are we broken? Oh, there it is. Okay, so it allows you to kind of preview what you're building here. So I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and twist this thing around. So there's a lot of styles you could choose from, but I am going to go for a specific style called Medieval Spruce. There it is. Went past a few times. <laughs> okay, so now you can use this little GUI here to kind of move it around and place it exactly where you want it to go. And this is going to be kind of standard for most of your city planning sort of stuff. So there we go. That looks like a good spot. Now I got to make sure that there's nothing interfering, nothing touching on this first building here. So I'm just going to go underwater and make sure nothing's within the build area. Yeah, looks like we are all clear. Even having like a piece of kelp or something will mess this thing up. So it's kind of annoying. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and hit accept. There we go. Now, I went to this village over here far from my, my main village, and uh, that's because I guess this thing can't be built right next to your main colony, so don't try to build it next to your main colony. All right, we're going to head on into this thing and see what it has to offer. This is a nice little ship here. I really like this design. So the, the ship, what you got to do is you got to loot it. It has all sorts of stuff. Yeah, see, starting food to get you going, a little bit of cooked stone, cobblestone, uh, water bottles, that's kind of pointless. Um, ooh, these barrels are nice too. Let me see if I, yeah, I do have an axe. So you could actually mine this entire ship all the way down to nothing, and it's fine. It's it's just here kind of as, as your starting supply. I don't know why I'm taking the bar barrels. They're super easy to make. Okay, and then down here, there's lots of supplies here. Like all these hay bales are nice to have. Um, what do we got in here? Oh, some wood. Kelp blocks are always nice. Okay, so these are the storage shelves. So you're going to need a lot of these for, for the colony, but they basically act as chests. So they act as a single chest or a double chest. So those are nice to have too. Ooh, bookshelves. I'll take them. Okay, now this chest has our town hall and a build tool. I guess I didn't need a build tool. Alright, I think I fully looted this thing. I mean, I'm not going to tear it down. I kind of like it just sitting here, you know, just for looks. Yeah, I'm not going to tear the whole thing down. So I got what I needed. Let's head back to the colony. Okay, so in, in order to place down buildings, you need to be able to have the building in your hand right there and a build tool. So we're going to choose where we want to put basically, basically this building, this town hall is going to be the center of the colony. I mean, it doesn't have to be the exact center of the colony, but it's, it's like the, the main building of the colony. So I'm just trying to figure out where I should put it down. I'm thinking like right up here somewhere. Um, it's going to be a pretty big building yeah, right about here. Let's try here. Let's see how this looks. So I'm going to use my build tool for this and I'm going to 
click right here and then it brings up this little GUI here and you can choose from you can basically see all the different buildings here like let's say a blacksmith's hut I can choose that and then it'll pop up here and then I could position it of course just like the ship raise it lower it put it wherever I want um, let's say I want to put it there so I can see what it looks like. I could also change the, the style. I could go in here and change the different styles, but we're going to stick with the spruce. So also you can change what level it is. So these buildings, they're going to be built in different levels. So they all start out on like, well, like a ground zero level, and then you have to build it up to level one. And then from there, you keep upgrading it all the way up to level five. So you can keep changing it to see what each level looks like all the way up to level five look at this thing oh and of course you can walk through all the blocks too so that's kind of cool yeah so this thing looks pretty nice at level five so we need to be putting down the town hall where is it uh that's gonna be in fun fundamentals there we go town hall Oh, let's see, it's slightly a different color and it doesn't have that little x on it so it, it tells you that uh, you can build it because you have the building in your pocket so there's two versions of the town hall the alternative and the town hall so uh what's the alternative look like okay this is the one i want okay i know which one this one is let's look at the other one first so the main one i'm gonna go for the alternative style but the main one looks like this and then if you upgrade it to level five it's gonna look something like this So the other one we want is going to be the alternative version, which looks like this at level one and then level five, it's this monster. I really like the design of this thing. And when you go in there, it's really in depth in there. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to climb up there because, well, the building doesn't really exist, but there's all sorts of rooms and levels and it's really nice in here, even a dungeon. So this is the one we're going to go for. Well, I think this is as good of a place as any to put this thing down. Um, yeah, the position looks pretty good. I mean, I would like for it to be a little more centralized. I don't know if I want to put it all the way up here. All right, I think that's a good spot for it. Uh, yeah, I went kind of back and forth just trying to figure out where to put this thing. And I think right here is going to be a good spot, so... Yeah, I think that's a keeper. Okay, we've got this thing where we want it. And what we need to do is click on this and then just click this check mark and it's all set up. So that is, yeah, that's set to get built right there. Okay, now here is the floating little town hall thing. I need to get up there. There we go. Okay, now we can get up here. Now we basically need to create our colony. Click on this thing and let's see, no nearby colony. So we're good to go here. Uh, I don't currently own one, so that's good. I'm able to create the new colony here, and my style is going to be medieval spruce. I think that's good. Let's create. Ooh, sweet. Word is out about a newly founded colony. Soon the first settlers will join your colony if there is enough space around the town hall. Oh, look at that. Our first colonist is here. Emmy I. Colby. Okay. And then it's also put caution tape around where this town hall is going to be. So basically, what is it? Basically, don't build anything else within this this uh, caution tape area, or it might get destroyed by well, when they build this this building here. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, that's a new button. Unlock custom colonist skins. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Um, let's see. Right away. Oh, that's a weird voice. That's kind of new. Okay. I didn't know you guys can talk like that now. Before, they used to have, like, the old uh, uh, majesty voices, like the majesty lines. So, I liked it better with the majesty lines. I don't like these guys' new voice. Okay. Oh, jeez. I wonder if I could turn that off. So, with this little book here, you can look at different things about your colony, like the uh, number of citizens, children, all, all kinds of stuff. Permissions, uh, different citizens here settings work orders and statistics so lots of information here so this this is a good building to, to look at it? all this stuff on so 
this building cannot actually get built right now. Even if I was to hit build options and start choosing all this, we don't have a builder. So the builder is basically going to be an essential part of the colony. And what is it? you're probably going to need multiple builders because there's a lot of buildings that need to get built. So in order to start the colony, let's, we need a builder's hut. So the builder's hut is going to be in one of these. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, right here. So that's going to take any type of wood and any type of door and of course your build tool and then you'll get a builder's hut. Okay, there we go. Builder's hut. Now I'm actually going to build multiple of them. Oh, and by the way, the, the build tool isn't, isn't consumed when you build stuff. But I'm going to actually build a few of these just so that way we're ready because I want to I want to actually have three builders going in this colony just because, yeah, they, they're really important. Oh, look, we got a third person, too. Nice. All right. Now we're going to figure out where exactly do I want to put this this builder's hut. This building is what you're going to be visiting the most throughout this entire playthrough. So. You need to be able to bring supplies to the builder so that way he can build the buildings and uh oh, we got some visitors and uh, yeah, we need to be able to bring uh, tools and, and building materials and all kinds of stuff to this to this builder's hut so that way he can do his job. I need to take care of this guy. Uh, I'm not into having a raid right now. Okay, put you there. Alright, I'm just going to put you there and cover you up for now. There we go, problem solved. But anyway, like I was saying, these builder's huts, you're going to be visiting them a lot. So I kind of want to put it in a centralized location around here. Um, hmm, I'm not sure exactly where I want it. I got to plan out where my main base is going to be because wherever I put my storage room, I want it to be fairly close to the builder's hut. You know, after some thinking, I I think what I need to do is plan out my colony a little better and figure out where I want buildings. So I think that's what we're going to do. Let's build a bunch of these buildings here and map out exactly where we want it to go. So I'm going to go through each one of these items one at a time and basically make it. So that way I have the have the building ready to go. So like, oops, something like a bakery. That's the first one. That's going to require wheat. So let's grab a little bit of wheat. There we go. And we got a bakery. Okay, that one's ready to go. Uh, next building, blacksmith hut. So three iron. Okay, blacksmith. That's ready to go. So I'm going to go through this list. Oh, we already got the builder's huts. Uh -huh. I'm going to go through this list and, and try to make as many as I can. I know there's going to be a few of them like the apiary that's going to require like a beehive, which I don't have right now, but I'll, I'll see how many I can build. Okay, check it out. I've been crafting. So these are almost all of the buildings that Mine Colonies has to offer. So I just wanted to just get these things out so I could visually see what's going on and what I need to build. Um, I am missing one, two, three, four buildings. So that's going to be the plantation, the rabbit hutch, uh, the concrete mixer, and the apiary. So I could probably get the concrete mixer made, but uh, that just requires white concrete. So... That's not too hard to get. I just didn't have any sand right now. But apiary, I need silk touch so I could get a beehive. The rabbit hutch, um, I need rabbit meat, which I can't find any rabbits around here. And the plantation requires uh, cactus. And I haven't been to a desert yet. So, yeah, those are the only buildings I wasn't able to make at the moment. But now since I have all this set up, I can probably just start going out there and planning things out so one thing is is there is a boundary to oh someone's getting hurt there is a boundary to um to our colony so if you hold your build tool you can see where the boundary is outlined and you can see that it's not very big at all i mean this thing's teeny tiny especially for the area that we that we outlined here so yeah 
Now this boundary can be extended. So you can either build buildings at the edge of the boundary and it'll extend it out like usually two chunks, or you could build guard towers and they, they extended out two chunks too. So we'll have to use buildings and, and uh, guard towers to extend this out. But in the meantime, I can start planning out what buildings I want to have in this immediate area. All right, guys, so I've been trying to figure out where to put each one of these buildings and well, I'm not too happy with the layout. I honestly think that I flattened out this area a little too much. I mean, I know I still have a little bit of a hill in the middle here, but it's still too flat. It doesn't have much character. So I got rid of, yeah, I just got rid of too much. So I think what I'm going to do is I already kind of mapped out where this water section is. You can see all the holes that I, that I dotted into the landscape and I'm going to cut this out. And uh, that way we could have a little bit of water just kind of right smack in the middle of our colony. And then we could build buildings kind of around the water as, as I don't know, like a little harbor or canal or something. So that way just, yeah, it gives it a little character, it gives it a little something to work with because this, I mean, I'm not, I'm not into doing the grid pattern sort of a, sort of a village, you know? So let me carve this out and see how that looks. Well, there you go. I opened it back up again. <laughs> Sorry for my indecisiveness on what exactly I want to do with this colony, but yeah, the more I thought about it, the more I wanted some more character to it. So too much flat land is just too boring for me. So open it back up. I'm going to do some terraforming just to make it a little smaller. It doesn't have to be actually this big. So, and I'm probably going to build some buildings down there too. So there are some water-based buildings like the, uh, the Fisher's hut that, that needs to be built down there at the water. So there will be a few things put down here. So yeah, we, we have plans for that. So as of right now, I've got a builder's hut right here. So this is the first building we need to get built. So our main town center cannot be built without a builder. Let's see. I think I want to put the builder's hut somewhere over here. Yeah. So the first thing you need to do is just kind of click down and you can go to where is it? Builder's hut right there. So we've got two different styles we could choose from. So let's start with this one and see what that looks like. Okay, not too bad. Uh, level 2, level 3, level 4, and level 5. Okay, that's not too bad of a build. Let's rotate it, see what's the best side. Okay, I'm guessing this is the front. Let me drop that down. Let's take a look what's going on. Yeah, this might be the front right here. It looks like a little sign right here. So, that's the front, and... I want to make sure we have a nice spot where we can walk by it. So maybe we could take that that way. Now, when we go to build this thing, we have to make sure that it's within our colony. If any part of this building sticks out of the colony, it, we're going to have we're going to have a hard time building it. So um, looks like we're pretty good right there. So I'm going to position this thing and figure out. Oh, that's right. We can also take a look at the other alternative version of this. And that's going to be this one here. So uh, where's the front? There we go. Okay, so this is a much smaller building. So level two, level three, level four, and level five. So, oh yeah, this thing's pretty in depth. Um, I know I know I've built this one before, and yeah, it has a pretty deep basement too. So I have room right here to place it. Uh there's nothing down below. So this wouldn't be a bad spot for this little one either. So I don't know. I don't know which one to build. I'm I'm probably gonna end up building both styles, to be honest. All right, well, I think this one is a winner for now. So uh, next up, what you got to do is once you've selected it, it doesn't matter which one you click on unless you're on creative mode. All you have to do is hit the check mark here and that sets up. Great job on the placement of your builder's hut. However, that's not enough. You need to access it and click on the build building button. Uh, let me read that. Uh, soon your citizen will be creating new structures for the colony. Okay, cool. So someone is actually going to take the job of a builder. So the builder's hut, the first builder's hut you get is a little different. Uh, someone can take the job right away. So it looks like this person's taking the job. So yeah, they're wearing the uniform of right a away. builder. Once you click on them, you can go down to job. Yep, job is a builder. So alrighty, let's select this building to get built. 
Okay, so it had a little guide there that we can look at, but uh, I know what I'm doing. So first I can start with build options. Um, builder's gonna, usually if you leave this blank, a builder will automatically be selected. In our case, we only have one and I'm gonna hit build building. There we go. While your builder is working, you can check on the resources they need on the second page of the building GUI. So that's gonna be right here, required resources. Um, oh, it takes a second for them to count up what resources they need. So I think they need to come to the building hut and then they, they should let you know. There we go. As soon as it says I've started work, right then away. you could take a look at it. All right, so all of this stuff here is what this builder's gonna need. So that seems to be some easy enough stuff to get. Um, oh, we got some special items here to get too. So, okay, this is all basic stuff. Also, whenever you see that little red mark on them, that means they what need something. So looks like she needs a shovel of at least gold material. So stone, a minimum level of stone, maximum level of gold. I'll work on it. Um, yeah, so... Uh, she's probably going to need a pickaxe too and uh, and maybe a regular axe. Well, I mean, we have no trees to chop down, but yeah, I'm going to get her all the tools and, and get her all prepped up and start grabbing some of the resources they need. You know, another thing that makes makes uh, figuring out what the builders need a lot easier is these resource scrolls here. So uh, that just takes two leather and some sticks to make. Now, the nice thing with these resource scrolls is if you don't want to just keep going back and forth from, from the builder's hut to your house or wherever you're storing stuff to figure out what the builder needs, you can get these resource scrolls. So in order to set it, you have to sneak and right click on the builder's hut you want to set it to. And all you got to do, there you go. You can take this anywhere you want. And that just makes it 10 times easier just to stick around in your storage room and just figure out what material you need just by looking at this thing. Okay, our pockets are pretty full. I still don't have all the items they need, but what I can do is I can click on the build, come on. I could click on the building and click on the required resources. Now all this stuff that I have fully in my pockets are marked green. So I could go ahead and click these little up arrow buttons and that's going to transfer them from my pockets to the, the builder's hut. Now this one is yellow, so that's telling me that I have some of the items, but not all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer what I have, and now it's just telling me what is the remainder stuff that I need. Now that thing's only going to take what it needs. So if you go back into your inventory, see I had a little too much dirt and too much coarse dirt and some other items too. So it didn't take those things, it only took the ones that it directly needed. All right, so I only have two more things that I need to get. That's going to be, uh, this is going to be a mine colonies uh, item here. That's the standing barrel. That's pretty easy to make. Let's see. All right, standing barrel is just basically planks and sticks. So that's super easy to make. So there we go, right there. How many do I need? Oh, I need three of them. So yeah, super easy crafting recipe. And then the, the laying down barrel is just the same thing except sideways. So that's that's an easy one to make as well. The other thing I need are the frame spruce planks. Now these are a little more complicated to make. And the only way to make them is in the architect's cutters table thing. So that is going to be this thing right here. So um, stone slabs, wood or logs and an iron ingot. Okay, so we got this thing. I'm gonna place it down right here. It looks like the uh, the stone cutting bench, but just a little bit different. It's like elevated. So, um, so the way this thing works is, oh, GUI is a little different from the last time I saw it. Okay, so it looks like we can select more accurately what we wanna make. So I'm gonna go with timber frames because that's what we need to do. And we're gonna go with the plain ones. And then now we just need to add in our material, which is gonna be this and this. There we go. Yes, because you can add two different materials to, to make different things. So you can see right here, it's got oak planks on the frame and the dark oak as the center. So for the one we need to make is going to be uh, spruce and spruce, and that's gonna be the plane. So 
let's uh let's make some of those up and let's see did i do it right yes i did it right there so once we get like a carpenter they can make those items for you without you having to deal with them they, they it is a kind of a difficult recipe but uh once you get used to that table there it's not too bad all right let's give her the rest of her items that she needs uh oh, building inventory full. Cannot insert. Uh, okay, her inventory is completely it? full. Yeah, look at that. It's full of dirt. Hi. Jeez. Okay. Um, she needs to start working. Oh, she needs a shovel. Forgot about her shovel. Okay, so these people, you can honestly, you could just throw items at them, or Hi. you can click on here and hit. Um, let's see, where is it? Open requests, and then you could just hit fulfill, and then that'll right give away. it to them. Hi. Um, you could also go into their inventory and give them things. So I'm gonna give her another shovel, a couple, uh, pickaxes and an ax. So that, that should get her started for now. Oh, and she's already off to work. So you can actually watch them as they work and dig. So it, it, it's pretty cool how they do this all in real time. Yeah, check it out. First building is done. With the builder's hut completed, we should focus on providing a place to sleep for the initial citizens. Uh, tavern or house? Hmm. Well, it says that we could do a tavern, and that should do all four of them at the same time. That's not a bad idea. Um, since I'm doing like a wharf area over there, I'm thinking I should put the tavern probably close to the wharf, and I'm not quite ready to build over there yet, so... Yeah, if you take a look, our colony borders have actually extended out just a little bit here. So it should be about two chunks. Yeah, so one, two. Oh, this is about one chunk. Huh. And that's only one chunk. I think it's, I want to say it's the guard towers that kicks it out two, trunk, two chunks. So, um, okay. Well, since that is done, our builder now has a place to work. Oh, they have a little exclamation mark. Let's see what that means. Oh, cool. Okay, I haven't seen this this update yet, so it looks like they're adding like a little quest system. So, um, yeah, sure, I can try to find one for you. Oh, hey, you brought the resource scroll. Can I have it? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much for bringing me the resource scroll. You know, all you have to do is shift right click on the block to activate it, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, that's cool. They give you like a little tutorial system now, so that's that's pretty nice. But anyway, now since our builder has a hut, so they, they can work a little faster and they have a little more room to store stuff. So, of course, they've got the builder's hut to store things. And then they also use chests that are that are within their build area. So that's pretty nice. So whatever chests that they decide to build in here, that's what they can use for storage. So that's a that's pretty cool. So I'm thinking I might be able to get that tavern up and plan out exactly where I want to put it. But since the since the colony walls only extend to right about here, I need to do something about it. And I already planned out a guard tower right here. So this guard tower should send out the border two chunks. So that should take it from here to somewhere in here. That's that's pretty good. I might need to put another guard tower over here and maybe another one over here and uh, just to get this whole area open up so i'll have to chain a bunch of guard towers just to get the colony borders exactly where i want them to be so with this guard tower already placed i'm gonna go ahead and set build options and build building so build requests uh build requests created for guard tower at the quacks colony so that builder is yep there we go builder already took the job and they should start marching their way over here and starting to build on this now if we check the resource scroll ah it unselected it hold on let me let me reselect it onto the uh onto the building there okay i relinked the the resource scroll i guess it got messed up when i gave it to her but anyway here are all the stuff that we need for this building so i know for some reason that that um that guard tower you have to dig down quite a bit for some reason but uh she's probably working on that 
first. So they're going to start digging and doing whatever they have to do with that. And in the meantime, I can get them all the resources and then she'll start building it. So that should be a super easy building to, to build. So that should go by pretty quick. Now, even though she's way over there starting to dig that area out, when you have all the resources, you take it to their builder's hut and then you go into required resources and add it all there. So there we go. She should be all set up with all the things that she needs. And I guess nothing to do now but to sit back and watch her build it. Okay, so we got a guardhouse now, and yeah, sure enough, it took up two chunks, or well, it gave us two extra chunks, so this thing got pushed way back over here, so that's nice. Okay, so we're probably going to have to build another guardhouse in here as well to extend this out all the way to the hill, and I've got another one planned over there too, so yeah, hopefully that'll be enough. I'll probably build that one first and see how far it kicks out, but... Um, I don't want to go too crazy with the guard, guard houses because I have no way of getting new villagers. So, uh, I gotta think about that. Now, I'm thinking the best place for our warehouse is probably to be on the docks. And, I mean, it makes sense. That's where things get shipped to. So, uh, warehouse should probably be somewhere over here. And I'll probably end up putting all my courier huts over here and then my tavern as well. So... Let me plan that out and see where everything's going to go first. Well, I think I got the buildings mapped out about where I want them to be. Um, I'm not going to go into details of what their level 5s look at. You're just going to have to watch to see what they look like. But for now, I think we're going to put our tavern right here. And this is the building we need to house our initial settlers. So this tavern building, it's like a temporary housing for, for settlers. And... As you upgrade it and upgrade your town, new settlers will appear here and uh, they'll kind of sit around here and see if you want to recruit them into your town. And if you do, they usually they have a cost and you pay the cost and they have a chance of joining your settlement. But um, if you don't have enough beds for everyone at the moment, the tavern works as kind of like a temporary bed space. So, um, let's get building. I already dug out this hole here because our builders, I mean, our builders, they're, they're good at one thing and that's building, uh, digging they're they're not so good at. So I went ahead and dug it out. Usually what I do is, is I dig one block underneath this thing. And if they need to dig out a little more, they can, but, uh, at least this is a good start for them. Well, the tavern is done and our people finally have a, well, rudimentary place for them to stay at night. Um, oh, and we got our first visitor. Okay, so whenever they have this little symbol above their head, that means that they're visitors. They're not actually a part of the colony. And yeah, like I said, you can actually recruit these guys for a cost. And uh, sometimes they ha can have some pretty impressive stats, but uh yeah, I don't even have 30 whatever books to recruit him anyway, so I'm just going to let him go. But as we grow our colony, more and more of those visitors will come. Um, are you one of ours? Yes, this is one of our people, so okay. Alright, tavern is done. That is good. I am happy with that. So the tavern is like one of the few buildings that only has a few upgrades, so... Tavern, I think, has a total of three upgrades until it's completely done. So, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll be happy with level one for a while. Oh, look, uh, hometown. A new child has been born. Okay. Well, there she goes. Nice. Okay. Little baby. I thought you had to have a house to have a child, but I guess not. Huh. 
Well, with the tavern done, I've got another project I want to work on. So over here, we've got planned out another builder's hut. And that's just basically right across the street from our first builder's hut. So what I want to do is get this second builder's hut going because we've got a lot of buildings planned out. I mean, you could see all the caution tape that's that's out here. And yeah, a lot of stuff planned out. And in order to do that, we need more builders. So we have one person employed so far. We have another person over there employed as a guard. And I think what I'm going to do is you can turn off the guards so that way they don't take up your citizens. And I'll probably end up turning off this guardhouse as well as all the other guardhouses because I've got a lot of guardhouses planned out because I want to push the walls back. So here you can see the walls. I've got a guard tower there, guard tower up there, one over there, basically one in every corner. So I just want to start pushing these walls out. And that's a lot of guard towers that, that I'm going to build. So these guard towers are basically going to be temporary guards. I, will, I won't assign any people to those buildings and I'll delete them once I get buildings in place. Um, the only guard tower that I have planned so far that's permanent is this one here and we'll probably hold off on building that for a while. So I want to go ahead and get the other builder's hut going because I can have one builder do the guard towers and then another builder build the main buildings that I want. Okay, Emmy, what do you need? Well, let's get started. Well, that was a quick and easy one. So this builder's hut is in a different style than this one over here. And honestly, I really like the style of this one. Uh, it's, it's not much right now. Obviously, this is level one, but eventually you're going to get a staircase into a nice big basement full of different blocks and colors and all kinds of cool stuff and a second story, too. But for now, it's a, it's a humble beginning. So, um... But you know what? I don't think that's it for this episode. I think I have time for one more upgrade. And, well, I noticed when I started building, like, build bigger buildings, like, like the tavern or, I mean, I've got the warehouse and even the, the town center to build. Those buildings are going to take a lot of resources. And our level one builders huts are just limited to a single chest basically the 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 building hut so i'm basically limited to the small inventory that this builders hut has which isn't much so with level two i can actually afford to have a builders hut that carries more items so it makes building bigger buildings a lot easier. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade both of these builders huts up to level two. And there we go, two builder's huts, each of them at level two. So if we go on in here, you can see that some changes have been made. Uh, we got a little desk here now. That, that's pretty nice. We've upgraded our material as well. Oh, and these are some like paper wall things. I'll, I'll have to show you how to make those. They're not too bad. But let's see, if we come in, in here, we've got another chest here. And... Oh, now we've got a basement here too. So, oh, ooh, that's a little glitchy. Um, oh, and we've got storage containers. So these things will act as double chests basically, and they, they can store stuff in them. So lots of extra storage now. Now, essentially, we've got two double chests in here. Coming over to the other builder's hut, it's going to be the same thing uh, with the basement. And down here, we've got some materials on the wall. And, oh, he's got a little less storage than the other one, but it's okay. Uh, we've got two single chests. Um, but, yeah, a little less storage, but you know what? I, I, I like this one. It's nice and compact as compared to the other one. 
Well, anyway, that's about gonna do it for today's episode. We made a lot of progress. We got these two new builder's huts, both of them up to level two. And of course, we've got a new tavern over there. So our original settlers have a place to stay. Maybe next episode we can start getting some houses built and give them a more permanent place and, and start getting some babies born. I do want to extend out these walls, these uh the colony borders with the with the guard towers and stuff like that. So uh lots to do, lots to do, but definitely a good good start here. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope to see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching.